Hello from Team Love Planets Tokyo. I'm so excited for this place. You would have seen it on a ton of TikToks and a ton of bucket lists. It's this whole immersive experience they've created here in Tokyo. We haven't researched it too much because we want to be in for a surprise. We were told by our friend that we should wait until we're inside yeah. and it'll be a lot better. But I'm so excited to get in there. Let's go check Let's it go out. Let's go check it out. <laughs> you can have a little preview of what's to come. I'm buzzing. <laughs> so busy in here. And this museum, you will walk barefoot. Oh, it's so dark, but you're just wading your way through this water. <laughs> This place is called yeah, the Infinite Coastal change color. <laughs> so every one that you hit has a different sound <laughs> and it changes color. So that was the first area, it was really, really cool. So now we're heading to the garden area. We need some shoes. This area is very strange, it's like just different changing colour balls. <laughs> 
breathe in, breathe out. Look at the colors. It's like some glowing globes. <laughs> and it's cold in here. It's very cold in here. So you throw on some shoes just for the eggs. Yeah, it's so strange. I don't know what it is. We'll find out in that room, I think, what that was. Yeah. So, yeah, we gave back the shoes and now on to the next one. Whatever that may be. Whenever the queue dies down. Look how amazing this room is. And all of these flowers are real as well. They're all breathing, they're all real. Summer, the empire at our fingertips, the autumn to discover. Well, that was really, really cool. <laughs> so, that was our time at Team Labs, and I really really recommend it if you come to tokyo put that on your bucket list as a must do thing it was really fun yeah. i'm already looking at team labs in shanghai <laughs> yeah because i've really thought about going to shanghai but they have a team lab so i might just do that <laughs> a 10 out of 10 experience it was amazing like yeah. we'll put the price of the ticket on the screen if we haven't done that already that was an experience that you can't really get anywhere else yeah. it was amazing and also i will say that we went around twice and there's nothing to say that you can't go around twice you come out at the entrance and the exit so you can just go around as many times as you want really especially if the first time is too busy yeah because the first time we went around it was actually okay but then the second time we went around it was a load really of crowds busy. and you were being pushed along at yeah. a lot of the experiences which was a little bit annoying yeah uh, so if it's too busy the first time you do it go again go again and it might be okay <laughs> But thank you so much for watching guys this is part of our 24 hours in tokyo almost forgot where we was then this is part of our 24 hours in tokyo video so if you haven't seen that go check that out and we also have a capsule video because we're staying in a capsule tonight which is very exciting so go check those videos out and we will see you guys in the next one okay, bye <laughs> this place is awesome. Trying to climb through these huge bean bags and everybody's falling over is brilliant. <laughs> it's so hard to walk through here without just completely falling over. <laughs> so it was really hard to film in there because it was so dark, but it was supposed to be like how it feels to walk as a spaceman. Yeah, it was called a soft black hole. <laughs> So for dinner, <laughs> because we are absolutely starving, we've just come to this little, I'm not really sure what it is, it's like a canteen. And we've chosen a place called Meat Express. But for two vegetarians. I know, it's not <laughs> great. And we've got like some fried chicken and a beef rice bowl. Um, yeah, but we'll see what comes out and what it's like. We're on the menu tonight. <laughs> chicken, some fried chicken. Rice, I didn't know rice came with it. I didn't know rice came with it. Some dips, the classic, classic soup. <laughs> the fishy soup. It's probably gonna be fishy. Uh, and some salad, which looks fab. And instead of kimchi, we've got the good radish or something. I was thinking radish. We yeah. both thought radish, we're probably wrong. We <laughs> and then here, we have the same radish, the same soup, and a beef dish with an egg. A big egg. A dip of mayo. The sauce is very rich on this. Mm. That was such a big buy into me forever to eat that then. Yeah, you could just took the whole thing. Mm. Fishy. I think it's just the same soup. I think everyone does this. Is it the same soup? I, I, please tell us because I have no idea. It tastes very similar and it's always for free. <laughs> so there can't be much in it. Is it the same soup? Is I'm there a standard confused. soup that is served in Japanese restaurants? And in Korea. It was also in Korea they would always give us this soup. <laughs> but when you don't mix it, it looks like that. <laughs>